Felicitations. Recently, I've made a number of improvements to the organ that I will discuss in this video. If time allows, I will create videos with a narrower scope as I make progress this summer. The first area of improvement has been in how I control the organ. I've been developing several Arduino modules that interface directly with the existing control system to add functionality. I do currently have complete control over the organ's power system remotely. This is not new, but I recently finished rewiring the blowers to permanently implement it. Each of the three blowers is wired to a new contactor that is controlled by a smart plug. Both DC power supplies and many accessories including chamber lights are also wired to smart plugs. The result is that I can control power to every organ system individually over the internet from my phone or any internet capable microcontroller. I also ordered and installed more draw knobs and engraved heads. These are the first heads to actually be engraved. I had changed the stop layout so often beforehand that a label maker was the most advantageous solution. There are still many temporary labels for the stops that I'm not happy with yet. I installed the new knobs, the pedal section, over the Christmas holiday, during which the organ was used often. Next I installed the top octaves of the swell ranks. Kilgan added a treble extension to the SD swell chest that extended it to 73 notes for supercoupling. These trebles are not playing yet, but they're no longer in storage. I also swapped the Vox for a Chance Fagato. I did this for several reasons, the most important of which was the pressure. The Vox is on about 6 inches of wind, while the swell chest only supplies about 4.5. I would love to have the Vox playing again in the future but on a chest with a winding system that does not slow its speech and that can provide a proper tremulant. For now, I still need to adjust the racking for the fagato and build upper supports. I rearranged some of the smaller offsets to make getting around for maintenance easier, which is something I thank myself for on a daily basis. Now, one can access every pipe without climbing between the great wind chest and reservoir. I also added another walkboard in the back so that one does not need to step over the artiste blower and pedal reservoir. The extra height will also make tuning my second 8 foot trumpet easier once it's playable. The releathering process has come to an end for now. There are no longer any ciphers on the vental chest save one minor leak that has a different cause. Most recently, I added the bottom octave of a molar 16-foot trumpet to have a pedal reed. The tone is surprisingly pleasing for a half-length reed, and I will continue to adjust it to my liking. These trumpet pipes are unmitered, so low C and C-sharp must be offset to fit under the ceiling. The pipes are in place, but I have not run offset tubing to them yet. That's all for now, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.